Africa à Madrid. Please, let's take our seats. <coughs> Madam Chief Justice and President of our Supreme Court, uh, Madam Deputy Chief Justice, uh, Chief Justice Emeritus, the Honorable Willy Mutunga, and the Honorable David Maraga, Chief Justices from various parts of our continent, um, judges of the Supreme Court, distinguished judicial officers from different parts of our continent, ladies and gentlemen, and our visitors, good morning and welcome. Welcome to Nairobi and welcome to Kenya. I join Madam Chief Justice for uh, the convener of this uh, symposium in welcoming you to both Nairobi and, and Kenya. Let me volunteer some information about Nairobi and about Kenya. About Nairobi, um, this is the city that has a national park within 10 minutes from your hotel. So you may find some lion or cheetah because sometimes they escape from the national park. <laughs> Please be careful because they are not domesticated. Uh, welcome to Kenya. And again, on this one, I speak uh, with the authority of a scientist, being a scientist myself, that science has proved that Kenya is the cradle of mankind. You may find yourself having this feeling that you are more at home here <laughs> than from where you come from. <laughs> Please understand that this is where we all started and we can tell you welcome home. <clears throat> and it is inspiring to be here to witness Africa's judicial leadership as you mobilize your judicial authority, intellectual power, and moral commitment to intervene in our generation's defining struggle. I am highly encouraged to note the depth of thought in your appreciation of the existential magnitude of climate change and of the imperative for urgent action by all stakeholders anchored on common institutional coordination. Although climate change is a universal existential threat, there is good reason for Africa's institutions and leadership to drive the agenda of mitigating its effects and eliminating the human activity that is driving it. The first reason is the fact that Africa is by far the least polluting continent, yet it is by far the most adversely affected by climate change. The entirety of industrial and